There's an age-old debate in Formula 1, and pretty much every other sport in the world, and that's who is the greatest of all time. Well, when it comes to Formula 1, there's quite a few contenders. You've got the obvious Michael Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton, who have both got the record of seven world championships. Then there's the older legends of Ayrton Senna and Alain Prost, who are the juggernauts of their era. And finally, the gentleman drivers of Jim Clark and Juan Manuel Fangio from the 1960s and 1950s. Each driver respectfully lit up the sport whenever they took to the track, and now with Lewis Hamilton getting to the end of his career, we're waiting on a new young driver to take the reins and light up the next decade of Formula 1. And well, we're already witnessing such greatness in the form of Max Verstappen. Son of ex-F1 driver and podium finisher Jos Verstappen, Max has been raised his whole life with Formula 1 in mind. He completely demolished all competition in karting and then only had one season in single-seater racing before getting his call up to Formula 1 at the age of 16 to become the youngest Formula 1 driver ever. And well, in Max's eight seasons in Formula 1, from his debut in 2015, he's already shown clear signs of being a Formula 1 great. Most notably, he's won two world championships, has 35 wins under his belt and has already broken two F1 records. Firstly, the most wins in a single season at 15, and secondly, the greatest championship winning points margin of all time. So with all this being said, let's analyse whether we can give Max GOAT status when he calls it quits on Formula 1. However, the debate around who is the greatest of all time is incredibly contentious, and there are many that believe there simply isn't a true GOAT. But let's give it a go. Firstly, we need to look through what it takes to be the greatest of all time. And well, here's a list I've put together. You firstly need longevity at the top of your sport for at least a decade. You need to make the sport bigger off track. You must make very few mistakes, have very high level of consistency, raw performance and pure speed, have an ability to adapt to your environment, possess a brilliant work ethic, have great racecraft and intellect, be able to create out of this world moments, and finally, and quite obviously, have statistic superiority. Now, some would argue having good sportsmanship and being a team player makes you more of a great. However, I'd argue you can still achieve as much if you didn't follow those principles as well, so I won't be including that. Arguably, good news for Max. So, let's analyse Max Verstappen and see what he has already shown in his time in Formula 1, as well as what he needs to demonstrate to prove himself as the greatest of all time. Well, so far, I feel Max has shown six of the previous attributes I mentioned, as well as one unique attribute just for Max. Firstly, in the past couple years, he's made very few unforced errors, has been incredibly consistent, obviously has high level of raw performance and speed, has a unique level of work ethic behind the scenes, possesses race intellect like never before, and has created several out-of-this-world moments, such as his performance in Brazil in 2016, his utter dominance of the 2022 Belgian Grand Prix and his first ever Grand Prix win in his debut for Red Bull back in 2016. But Max also creates a level of fear in his opponents like never before. So much so that they've dubbed it the Verstappen rule, which basically states you should get out of his way if he's trying to overtake you. That alone speaks volumes. However, this does not mean he's already got GOAT status. There's still many things he still needs to achieve and prove for himself to be seen as the greatest of all time. Firstly, he needs to show greater longevity at the pinnacle of the sport. He's been competing for the title for only two years, so he simply needs much more time in that position. Secondly, he's yet to have a truly global impact in terms of making the sport bigger beyond just his home country of the Netherlands, he also hasn't really shown adaptability, mainly because he hasn't had opportunities or reasons to adapt, having stayed at Red Bull for the majority of his career. And then finally, despite having two championships and 35 wins, he needs to get his numbers up to be seen as the greatest of all time. So, with all this being said, can Max actually become the GOAT of Formula 1? Well, I don't really see any reason he couldn't, to be completely honest. As long as he continues at a high level with a competitive car, which of course is not a certainty in Formula 1, then I fully see him swinging the statistics in his favour. If we were to expect Max to drive in Formula 1 until, let's say, 38 years old, it looks a little like this. In order for Max to pass Lewis Hamilton statistically in wins and titles, he needs 5.3 wins every year for the next 12 years, as well as 6 more championships. 
Now, those stats are provided Max races until he's 38, which will be 2033. And I don't think he'll do that. Max has said many times that he is very interested in driving in other motorsport categories after Formula One, such as the World Endurance Championship or even the Indy 500. So there's no providing he'll stay in Formula One for another 12 years. Now, in my personal opinion, I see Max Verstappen a lot like Novak Djokovic in tennis. He may go on and become the greatest of all time statistically and be the most technically brilliant driver of all time, but I personally feel he just won't be seen in the same way as Ayrton Senna, Michael Schumacher or Lewis Hamilton, just like Djokovic isn't seen in the same light as Rafael Nadal or Roger Federer. And this may simply be because he's still young and needs to mature when it comes to being a team player and his general attitude off track, but I really hope he does improve in this way because I have so much respect for him as a driver and the magic he is able to create from behind the wheel of a Formula 1 car.